Let me get this straight. There's the possibility they're making a Delta Emerald, but we still can't get, like, Lightning Yellow or Bubble Blue. Okay, that last one sounded bad, but either way, cute title scene. the title Pokemon Delta Emerald. And this has got some people thinking, what the hell does that mean? Well, obviously, Emerald is a reference to Pokemon Emerald, and Delta is a reference to the fact that they need to put something new in front of the title for whatever reason. But, well, there hasn't really been anything else said about this. In fact, all we know is they filed the trademark. In fact, we still really don't know a lot about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or even if I'm getting the titles right. But the thing is, is that this does bring up some interesting questions. Are they really going to do three remakes of just games that all have the same story? Or is it possible some may be sequels, or one is just a remake, or maybe there's like a time thing, or maybe they're all completely different? It's a very interesting idea, but it's also important to keep things in reason. You can only do so many different things with the concept of the Pokemon story. Either way, you're always going to hunt the eight gym badge, you're going to challenge the Elite Four. It's possible they might just keep that same story, but do something different in each version. Maybe they'll introduce a third team, like we had Team Magma, Team Aqua, maybe we'll introduce a third team that's invested in, like, wind or something, like Team Tornado, and their plan is to catch Rayquaza for something. It always annoyed me in Pokemon Emerald that they really didn't do anything to really include Rayquaza. I never really understood how he fit into everything. It just felt very shoehorned. With Giratina, I thought they did a good job with the Arceus story, we all know how it worked with Suicune, and I thought Cubrem was a nice addition. And I have a good feeling on what's going to happen with Zygrave when we get the X and Y be the third version or sequels or whatever. But this is very puzzling. The fact of the matter is there was no reason to do a third for Fire Red and Leaf Green, or a third for Crystal and Gold and Silver, because there just wasn't an existing reason for it to be there. Those games were fine, and the remakes did a good job introducing new elements, updating the gameplay. A third would have meant nothing and been irrelevant. So it's interesting to see that this is where they're doing it and where it could go. A lot of us remember how revolutionary Ruby and Sapphire were. How they really changed a lot of the mechanics, introduced new things, the way the Pokemon even looked different. So I'm still excited, and I've got to say, I'm getting more and more curious. Especially when I'm glad we're not getting too many leaks, too many anything like that. I thought with X and Y, there was too many. But here it looks like, you know, they're staying very under wraps. I'm sure most things aren't finished. But if it is a completely new story, to be going this long and not, like, leaking plot points or showing really anything besides those box arts and the little sneak preview footage we got, I think is really great and a good news on Nintendo's half. And releasing this information that they've put in the trademark is only going to get Curiosity up for this game. And I've always loved Curiosity. But do you love it? In the comments section below, give me your thoughts on this possible new game, what it could be, what you want it to be, anything like that. And as always, click to like and click to subscribe, because if it's got Pokemon, I'm talking about it.